I got my Tripcaster, and now I'm here with Ross, and he's feeling emo. You're here. I can tell. He thinks I'm going to abandon him or leave him. That is not the case. He's basically a father to me, so I don't care what the rules are for the tribe. I'm still going to acknowledge him. Like, he's been there for me since day one. I'm not going to abandon him. You have the firearms. I do. Those explosions and shouts beyond the embrace. Is that the trouble you were talking about? You will know soon enough. Until then, we wait for dark. Wait for dark? What? Come on, man. Look, Rost. I've thought it through, and I'm not going to shun you after the proving, okay? You hear me? I'm just... I won't do it. I'm not about to pretend that you never raised me. Aloy, the law forbids all contact. Screw the law. And I don't care. Exactly. I know what duty means for you, Lost, but all tribal law has ever done for me is take things away. And that's not going to happen again. Exactly. Aloy, I must obey the law. And so you will. I knew you'd say that, so this is what we'll do. I'll come to you in secret. No one will see me, so I won't get in trouble. A and I know you won't talk to me because it's against the law, but I'll talk to you. It'll be my crime, not yours. You'll Aww. just listen. And that's how we'll handle this. The fact that she's willing to do that. You've put a lot of thought into this. Because she loves you, bro. She cares about you. You're her dad. So you can stop worrying. It's handled. Yes. So it is. There you go. See? The comfort's right there. This is Lover of Ladies. Like the video. Share the video. Comment because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, subscribe to my channel, please. That way you'll be able to get daily content from me. I don't understand. Those explosions are outside the embrace. What can we do from in here? The lesson will be taught in due time, Aloy. Damn. <laughs> so then we wait. Fine, I'll stop asking questions about it. My bad. I got Odd Grata her rabbits, for which she thanked All Mother, of course. It was All Mother working through you to bring her the rabbits. You always say that, but I was there and I hunted alone. And you always say that, and so make yourself alone. Okay, since you got your degree. Want to act all smart and shit? Whatever. I saw Carr stinged out that tripcaster I was talking about. I hate to think what that outlaw trader charged for a weapon of that make. It wasn't cheap, but the caster is worth it. Perhaps. You'll know it's worth soon enough. I even got a slingshot too, so a backup weapon. Still a while to go before dark. I guess I'll get some rest. Good idea. There'll be no time for sleep tonight. All right, time for me to go to bed. I love his outfit. Like, that is so dope. Can we go through or not? Nah? Thank you. Opening a gate for an outcast? Some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. Aw, that's nice of them. Thank you. I appreciate that. So much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy, with threats unlike any you have ever faced. And that is foreshadowing, because. What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth, and it's something new, something angry. What? Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. Yeah. What the hell? That's insane. A new machine? But 
it's been how many years? You would think that whoever's creating the machines would just run out of materials, but I guess not. It's not far. That cabin. What happened to it? A machine. That's why. What sort of machine does that? The sort of machine you're hunting now. Oh. I see. Huh. I mean, I'm getting a lot of resources, so that's pretty cool. I'll watch your carcass. I'll harvest the parts. Watch your surroundings. Got it. Oh no! A body! Oh no! Another body! Let me get this resources first. <clears throat> oh no! Another body! Huh. I see a watcher is just chilling. Not surprised. They're like cockroaches. You kill one, another one appears. What? This machine did all of this? Fuck. Goodbye, quiet approach. Nope. Yeah. Why are we the only ones out here tonight? Why can't the tribe's braves hunt this machine? They did. The kills we bastard theirs. Oh, awkward. Tomorrow, they will hunt again. They won't need to. This machine will be my kill. Or your death. If you're not careful. That's right, Eloy. Don't be too cocky now. If you're too cocky, life gives you a big fat humble pie. Believe me, I would know. I've gotten that a few times in my life. I mean, at least I'm getting a lot of resources. But then again, I would be the one to just yeah, harvest please. anything. Look, another body! Oh, hey, yo, this machine. Reckless. How many were there? I didn't bring you here to answer questions, Aloy. I brought you here to deal with that. What's that? Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm ready. Wow, this is the ultimate test. No pressure, of course, no pressure. I can use the tall grass to approach. Okay, let's see. First of all, the weakness is fire. Oh, really? Fire, do I have enough? Now I do. That's crazy. All right, so the weakness is fire, so here's what I'm going to do. Tripcaster, obviously. And on top of that, you know what? I'm going to do two tripcasters just because. This would be the perfect spot. And yeah. Where is that thing? Let me go and do this. They're scanning for me. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. Let's go. Run. Come here. 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 Come here.
come in. Thank you. And then right here. There. There you go. There you go. I'm just shooting it and that's it. Wow. That's it. Woo. I'm done. I did it. This is sick. Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow. Wait, that's not the lesson? Then what is? Wow, look at the sun... The sunrise, These right? These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? The one that abandoned me? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone. What? What do you mean after you're gone? We're finished here. Follow. Are you deadass gonna leave? I already had a plan to see you and have you not talk to me while I talk to you. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. What? I understand the final lesson, Rost. Do you? But mm. if I'm going to stand for something, it'll have to be something I believe in. Then I hope you find it, Aloy. I hope you do. I'll go back to the cabin with you. I'm not heading there just yet. I have other plans. Oh, such as? I'll be waiting for you when it is time. So that's his way of saying, mind your business, and that's it. I'll see you at Mother's Heart then. You will. Damn, man. Oh, man. I guess... I guess I'll be on my way. There's my old man, Rost. Sitting there looking emo as always. Aloy. Yeah, I'm here. We must speak. So, it's time. Are you ready? Yep. Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. No, you're my home, Ross. Come on. That. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs. A center of Nora life. A jewel of the sacred land. Give it time. And you'll grow fond of it. As I was. Back when I was at the tribe. Are you sure they're gonna let me in? Yeah, what if they're you, assholes? Aloy, by law, any child outcast can run in the proving. And any okay. outcasts are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Yeah, what if someone they, tries... The tribe will honor your right. All right, I'll take your word for it. Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the wilds. Yeah, man. 
Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. Oh yeah, answers to who's my mom and what happened to her. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Come on. Are you serious? Take you really time. are leaving. Remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No. You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But, I but told you're. You I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace. That's me. your wish, not my wish. In isolation long enough. Cut it out. Until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This is messed up. This. This is goodbye. You're my dad. You raised me. Why would I ever abandon you? No. It's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Exactly. But this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you. And you. Oh my god. I have to let him go. For now. Oh lord, my Oh man. After that, I'll see where his trail leads. My abandonment issues are an all time high now. I'm teary eyed right now. Him leaving is like basically a dad going to find milk and never coming back. Excuse me. Back, outcast. Fuck you. Let me through. Your choice. So you want to fight? Make way. Make way. Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Thank you. Oh. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Tirsa. Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. Aw, she's excited. Yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja. But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? Uh... Honestly, I was about to murder those guards, but you know what? Wow, look at this. Wow, everyone's here. Alright, so apparently I have a friend that wants to see me. Is this... Aloy! It's you, isn't it? Over here. How do you know me? Wait, it's that same kid that I Aloy, saved when I was a little kid. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. That is him. You tried to thank me. Bendito. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. 
Really? In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Oh my god, free outfits? Hell yeah! And I'll equip this. Yep, it's equipped. And wow, I'm gonna come to him for these outfits. Seriously. I am. And let me sell some stuff. Hold on. So I got some stuff that I don't need. So let me see here. I can give him some meat, so sell that. Okay. Yep, I'll give him all of the meats because that's all I need. Wow, this is so crazy. It's so convenient that he's a merchant. I'm definitely going to go to him, that's for sure. All right, that should be enough, so. There. Seems to fit you perfectly. Thank you, Tep. I've never had anything like this before. I never had free. Well, it's yours. Free before. It affords more protection than what you were wearing. Thank you so Every much, bro. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the matriarch's lodge if you want to find Tirsa. Okay. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe. Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes flying, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. Wow, so this tribe is full of a lot of ignorant people. I don't think I can call this my own. Okay, we got some singing here. This is cute. Wow, lots of eating. Gotta warm myself up, you know? This is cute. Jog! Get down from there! It's bad enough you're drunk. Why do you have to go climbing houses? Oh, not supposed to go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? That is so Side eye. But you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. They fell in love at a festival. Suppose it's only fitting to part ways at another. This is so cute. This is like a big, big festival. Oh, I'll take that. Thank you. I love getting free money. I love getting free clothes, and I love getting free food. Oh, ho, ho, my man. Look who's Christ. here. What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. Okay. I was supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks on some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last-minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Lars Hart, I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, a man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Wow. Me. I won't Such a confession. You if you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. All right, well, I'll see you. All right, then. Time to go. Good luck tomorrow, Aloy. Thank you. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Oh, I hear them talking shit. <clears throat> Shut up. 
An enunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers and slavers! Hey, hey. Luminance of Hold the... your fruit, Nora... Uh, uh. Nora Faithful, hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja, so I'll put it just straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. Oh, no. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. now who killed him? The 14th. That says a lot. Yeah. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah. He's a good man for that. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please. Give him respect. Can't you lend him your ears? Thank you. Preach. Right, thank you. <clears throat> An enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. Oh, he has one too? Get out. I thought I was the only one. On the eve of your proving, uh, possibly a focus or other personal device. Secure network connection. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? Yeah. That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. Maybe you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. Oh wow, we did a good life. The trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. Thank you. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. Menorah is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids, and who can blame them? Huh, interesting. What else do you know about Olin? The Red Raid. Is it really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? I'm an outcast, well, so... Ring-locked, impact-protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life-takers and machine-breakers to a one. It might even give a Nora Warmaid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. I wanted to ask you something else. Hey, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. I never heard anything about red raids growing up. What were those? Yeah, I was Your living was under a rock. Because I was an outcast. Away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? Sure. I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Basically. Oh. Yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. I agree, too. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? 
I've been oh, noticing. Man. Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the sun god, it would calm the machines. That's disgustingly Didn't ignorant. Work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.